my work practice and the work I'm dealing with is very much related to my heritage from my mother's side. I'm born in Switzerland, my father is from Switzerland and my mother is from Haiti and Haiti became a starting point for, for my work really. And meanwhile I've been working in very many different medias from taking its start of working with a staple gun which is for me like a weapon that I use to discuss topics relating to um, colonial history and violence and so on because it's really like a tool that I can shoot back or at and I'm using a headphone and I have to protect my ears and eyes and so on. In 2008 I started a project called Demounting Louis Agassiz which is very much about highlighting a story as an example of who were those people who teach racism concretely in the United States. He's, he was from Switzerland, a glaciologist who was very known being having uh, over 80 places named after him around the world on the moon and on Mars and seven species but after he moved to the or immigrated to the states in 1846 he became he developed in becoming one of the most influential racists of the 19th century so since 2008 I've been creating work uh, which was initiated by this campaign that's called in this way which was about the renaming of the mountain in the Swiss Alps after uh, an enslaved man called Renti to become Agassiz Horn to become Renti Horn um, as a way of starting uh, to highlight that hi whole history and um, this was for me like a trigger to engage in this and, and understanding where does that comes from who, who were those people and uh, um, through Agassiz I was able to, to understand that better and um, uh, also in relation to what the effect has to uh, our contemporary times and how much it's still there. So in 2017 I started the portraiture series called The Firsts, which is in one hand dedicated to people from the African diaspora who arrived to Europe in the 19th and 20th century. And then in the other hand it's also about uh, people from the contemporary times from the African diaspora who achieved certain goals, becoming, for instance, the first uh, president or first professor and so on. It's about uh, understanding well, how white supremacy holds people back and how that affects people. So I'm telling the story of those persons in, in the way of showing their portrait, creating a portrait, using the staple gun as well as a metaphor of discussing uh, topics of, of uh, trauma and violence and so on and then in the other hand I'm using um, as a base material I use an acoustic board which is used for uh, spaces to mute the sounds of spaces and I relate this to the um, situation of how those the people are muted or how the histories are muted and um, also people often tell me about someone I should also know about and this happened also in the case of Rome. I got to know through my friend Melissa Lavo, who's a musician who spent uh, time in Rome as well researching the story of uh, Edmonia Lewis and Edmonia Lewis was an African-American Haitian indigenous sculptress from New York and she became quite established already over there but then had the plan to move to Rome in 1866 and she spent then the rest of her life in Rome um, becoming also one of the first um, black women here and also being quite established artist and I was really interested in, in her story and I didn't know about her and when I got to be invited to come to Rome I proposed that I would like to create her portrait as, uh, within this framework of Asilo, having a studio for one week and I'm producing the portrait on the spot. And I take this time here now also as an opportunity to document the making of. So there is also going to be a video which hopefully can be merged together with the music of Melissa at the end.